Hi guys, it's Thriftastic Mom. I just wanted to get on here and just be seen <laughs> and say hey and just do a little update. You know, I've been updating a little bit through Facebook and all, but I haven't really updated um, everybody on YouTube. Um, as you can see, I'm still having eye issues from allergic reaction. Um, I know that I was supposed to do a weigh-in Monday, and I, it ain't that I forgot. I just didn't feel like doing it that day because it was worse than it is today. I actually feel pretty good today. It feels like it's drying up again, but, you know, I still got it, and it's still puffy and got my face swole, but um, I feel a lot better. I had, you know, went to the doctor and got medicine for it and took steroids and um, took that and when all that run out, I guess it was about two days, three days maybe, after I quit my medicine that got out of my system, what well, started coming back or I either eat whatever that's been causing it, I ate again because I still haven't figured that out yet. Well, um, I went to Tennessee last weekend and it started back. My eyes was just itching me to death that Saturday when I left to go to Tennessee. And I, when I went by to see Belinda Ball, my eyes was pretty red then. Y'all probably seen it in the pictures that me and her took and posted. But um, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I wasn't feeling my best at all. It had come back where I had started swelling my eyes up again. And um, it didn't get as bad as it did last week when my eyes were swole shut almost. But um, not sure what's doing it yet. I went to the doctor Wednesday. I had an appointment to have an allergy test done. And there's so many different medical places up here. And I'm not familiar with where a lot of them are. And I pulled up the address on the internet and I used my navigation and it took me to where they said the doctor's office was. When I got there, they said, well, today's Wednesday. He sees everybody in his Irma office on Wednesday. I said, well, nobody bothered, bothered to tell me that. So I ended up at his regular office. And by the time I got to where he was at to see me, where I was supposed to have my appointment, I was over 15 minutes late and they wouldn't see me. I was so mad. I didn't go on, but it did make me cry. I was upset crying when I got in the car because I really wanted to be seen that day and try to figure out what's going on with me because I'm just fed up with it, you know. Well, I had to set another appointment for this coming Wednesday. So that's a whole other week. I got to wait. And, um... It really teed me off. I wanted to tell them something, you know, because nobody mentioned to me that he went to two different offices and that my appointment was in the uh, at the other office. And I'd never been there, so I didn't know. And But, you know, I didn't say nothing. I took my appointment and I left, and then I just cried when I got in the car because I was so mad and agitated with it all. But anyway, started drying up and getting better, and then I noticed yesterday... I had eaten some cantaloupe for breakfast and uh, posted it on Instagram, I think it was. And um, after about an hour or so of eating that cantaloupe, my face got red and tingly and irritated and just started, I felt like, I could feel when my eyes were starting to swell and I felt like my eyes were starting to swell and I thought, you know what, it could be the cantaloupe I'm eating because I haven't done that with anything else. And I had been eating cantaloupe. I checked back at my grocery hauls when I first started buying the cantaloupes. And that was right before I started breaking out. Now, I know strawberries break me out, so I don't eat strawberries. But I've never thought about cantaloupe. I've always eaten cantaloupe. But, you know, sometimes when you get older, your body gets, it changes. And it, it will become allergic to different things. So, I never thought about the cantaloupe till it reacted on me the way it did yesterday. And I look back and at my hauls, and, you know, I've had cantaloupe for the last few weeks that I, this has been going on. I've been eating cantaloupe. So, it might be what it is. I thought maybe it was my coffee, my sugar that I use in my coffee, or onions. And I just found out the other day, see, I'm allergic to sulfur, and a lot of vegetables and fruits have sulfur in them. So, I could have too much sulfur in my body. 
but I thought maybe it was onions because I eat onions pretty often and onions are loaded in sulfur. Didn't know that until a few days ago. My aunt, she's allergic to a lot of different things and she's allergic to sulfur and uh, she can't eat onions and she's the one that told me that onions is full of sulfur. So, you know, I had quit drinking my coffee, quit eating onions and it was still drying up, you know, but after I ate that cantaloupe yesterday, I had another reaction. So, I've been eating, just constantly, you know, taking Benadryls to keep it down. And, um, so I gotta wait till Wednesday before I can go back and have my test done. And even if it dries up and clears all up for then, I'm still gonna go have my test done. Because I need to know what I'm allergic to, because I don't want this to keep happening. Um, but really, that's the only thing that I've changed, that I've eaten the last few weeks, you know, that's since my eyes have started doing this, is cantaloupe. So, I'm almost sure that it's the cantaloupe. I could be wrong, but I'm almost sure that that's what it is. So, I'm not eating no more cantaloupe. Um, I, you know, I knew weigh in Monday. I didn't feel good at all, so I didn't weigh in. Um, I hadn't even got on the scale. I'll be honest with you, I haven't got on the scale in probably two weeks. Last time, well, it might not have been that long, maybe a week and a half. I didn't kind of lost my days. But anyway, last time I looked, you know, I had been on steroids and I had eat too much that week and I had gained like six pounds. So I'm, I'm assuming I'm around like 280 right now. And um, I just hadn't felt like videoing. I hadn't felt like, you know, I did put up my grocery haul. I had to go get groceries with bite out of food. And I went out and got groceries. So I went ahead and done a haul. And, uh, you know, a little stuff like that. But... I haven't felt like doing videos. I haven't felt like going out in heat much. And I just uh, haven't even got on the scale. I hadn't even worried about it, you know. I'm eating like I normally do, but I haven't bothered with the scale. Because, you know, right now I've been so agitated with my face that I don't want to get on the scale and it, and it be so disappointing and it just make, it'll just make me feel worse. And I don't want to get on the scale right now. So that's why... I didn't, well, I felt really bad Monday. It's the main reason I didn't weigh and get on. But, you know, right now, I'm not worried about my weight because I'm trying to get my face healed up. I'm tired of dealing with this stuff. You know, I've been praying, praying that it be gone. <laughs> but anyway, I just wanted to do an update, you know, and let y'all know what was going on because I hadn't really posted anything much on Facebook lately. But, uh, I mean, on YouTube lately. But anyway, you know, I thank all of y'all for your comments, your support, your well wishes. And I just thank you for being subscribed to me. And just don't forget about me because I will definitely be back. Um, I hadn't even made a video talking about me meeting Belinda Ball. You know, Belinda, I met you. I loved it. I was, I'm sorry that it was only an hour. I wish I could have stayed all weekend. <laughs> I just, I wanted to have time to know you, to get to know you. And I didn't get to do that, you know. I feel like I know you anyway from, from watching you on YouTube, but it just ain't the same as knowing you in person. But I will say you are exactly in person as you I've seen you on the Internet, you know. And uh, it was nice meeting Chuck, and congratulations to him on his promotion. And, you know, it was wonderful meeting you. I was so sad when I left because I was like, I might not never get to meet, see her again, you know. And an hour just is not enough. And I was kind of sad. But, you know, I said, well, I don't live that far from you. So I might be back. I might have to come and spend the weekend down that way and we can go yard selling and have a good time. But it was so wonderful meeting you. That was the highlight of my weekend. I mean, you know, we went to Tennessee. That was new for me. Went to this nice big old church. But none of it was as exciting as getting to meet Belinda Ball. Because, I mean, that's all I thought about. That that Saturday and Sunday before I got to your house, Belinda, was, wow, I'm going to get to meet one of my used to subscribers. And especially you, Belinda. You know, me and you have talked off and on on the Internet several times. And um, I... Uh, I really wanted to meet you. I always said when I first got on YouTube and I met you, I said, I believe one day I will meet her because you're not that far away. So, you know, it come true. And uh, I really, I really enjoyed it. I just wish it had been longer than one hour. <laughs> but anyway, um, 
I reckon I'm going to get off here, y'all, and quit rambling. I just wanted to do an update and let you see the progress of my face. You know, I still, my skin is real dry, so it's drying up. It's just, it's almost scaly. My eyes ain't half as swollen as they was. So it is better. I just look like I've been in a fight. <laughs> so it's getting better, and my eyes are open. And the only time it really hurts is when I squinch my eyes together. It, it's painful when I do that. But that's the only real thing that hurts. But it's more aggravating than anything. So, y'all keep me in your prayers. And that that I find out what's causing this. And I'm definitely not going to eat no more cantaloupe. <laughs> until I find out for sure. But, um, and I told my husband, I said, I would rather it be cantaloupe than onions. Because I love onions. But I'm still going to have to cut back on them. Now that I know they got so much sulfur in them. So... I don't know, maybe eating all these fruits and vegetables um, over this past year on my weight loss journey it has made my body have way too much sulfur in it. That might be why I'm reacting the way I am. I don't know. But anyway, y'all keep me in your prayers, and I will be back as soon as I can, so don't forget about me. And stay subscribed, and keep those comments coming, because they really make me feel good and uh yeah i guess i'm gonna get off here i'll talk to y'all guys later and y'all have a wonderful weekend bye